Why did you decide to stay away from music after releasing your first album? Oh, boy. That's a good question. Um, so, if you don't remember, um, in 1991, um, grunge started coming out really big time with Nirvana. His Their album came out, well, one of their albums came out in 1991 that hit it huge, huge. So all the record companies were not interested in signing bands that sounded 80-ish. So they were all into signing up grunge bands because that's where the money was at. That's where the trend was going towards. Um, so, oh, geez, I'm just trying to remember back then. I do remember I had some writers that were writing with me and the, the material was just not, not good at all. Um, and I was, you know, I was getting up there in age, you know, for a singer being signed to her label. Um, it's even worse now. <laughs> it was bad back then. It's even worse now. Um, but I just, I just think that I, I had been doing it for so long and kind of put all my eggs in one basket, which is never a good thing to do. Um, and I thought, well, maybe I should try something else for a while just to see where this goes, see where this whole music industry is going. Um, I went down to L.A. to do some demos down there, and that didn't work out very well. And I just was really not into the kind of material that the 80s stuff was producing anymore myself. But I wasn't into grunge either. I was more into something that was deeper, more soulful, um, especially with the lyrics and everything like that. And uh, I just couldn't find the right collaborators and everyone just kind of disappeared. It was really weird. It's like you couldn't get a hold of anyone. I, I, I think Paul Dean asked me to join his band at the time. Um, and I just didn't want to go in that direction. So um, we had a little short discussion about it. I don't know where it went, but obviously it didn't work out. Um, Paul Dean from Loverboy, by the way, if you don't know who that was, he's a guitarist. And, um, so I ended up, what did I end up doing? I ended up going back to school, taking, I, I did a whole bunch of tests to see what my skills were, um, because I never really went back to university after the first year. So I didn't really know what I would be good at. So I took a whole bunch of tests and they tested out my intelligence and what my interests were and everything. And it kind of ended up being either graphic designer or an actress. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Let's let's just try being an actress again. Um, so that's kind of what happened. And then time went on and I got into other things. And I sort of got more and more separated from music which is kind of sad, actually, because, you know, I really enjoyed it, but it just didn't seem to be working out for me. And it was just, I just had lost my, I don't know, lost, lost the motivation. And by the time I got it back, it was too late. So I guess that's kind of the story. But, you know, I'll add more in the notes if I can think of something. But uh, thanks a lot. That was a good question. <laughs> okay.